Hey everyone, I'm back with the answer to the question I have recently asked about the syndrome that affects young children characterized by encephalopathy, liver damage, flu, vomiting with aspirin as a contributing factor. So the correct answer is Ray syndrome. Congratulations to everyone who got it right. You all did a fantastic job. So, have you ever noticed the warning signs on aspirin medicine? You might see that it is not recommended for children with certain symptoms. But why is that? Well, today I will tell you all about this Ray syndrome. So, this Ray syndrome is a rare but serious condition that primarily affects children. It causes damage to the brain and liver. But how does this happen? It all starts with the liver. The liver cells known as hepatocytes contain tiny powerhouse called mitochondria. And these mitochondria are essential for providing energy to the hepatocytes by producing ATP. Now here's where aspirin comes into play. Aspirin contains a compound called salicylic acid. And this salicylic acid is what damages the mitochondria in the liver cells. And without mitochondrial function, liver cells cannot produce the energy required, which may lead to liver damage and eventually liver failure. Liver damage affects the organ's ability to filter toxins, particularly nitrogen-containing toxins, which leads to the accumulation of ammonia in the bloodstream. And here is the problem. Ammonia is toxic and it can cross the blood-brain barrier, which is the protective layer that surrounds the brain. And once ammonia enters the brain, it can cause swelling, resulting in encephalopathy, which is a condition that can be life-threatening. The stages of encephalopathy in Ray syndromes are progressive and alarming. Initially, a child may show mild symptoms such as lethargy, drowsiness, and vomiting. As the condition goes and symptoms escalate to confusion, irritability, seizures, and by the third stage, pupil reflexes may be lost, indicating severe brain dysfunction. In advanced stages, the child can slip into a coma and without prompt treatment, this condition can lead to death. Let's talk about the treatment. Ray syndrome requires immediate medical attention, supportive care like administrating IV fluids. To address the brain swelling caused by ammonia, doctor may use medications such as mannitol or glycerol. In some cases, controlled hyperventilation is used to reduce the buildup of fluid in the brain. So, the key takeaway here is to avoid giving aspirin medicine to children, especially when they are suffering from viral infections. I hope this quick explanation helped you understand Ray syndrome better. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and take care of your little ones. See you in the next video.